Arizona is not just famous for its awe-inspiring landscapes and natural wonders. It's also a state rich in history, a history beautifully preserved in the form of ghost towns. Join Viewcation as we journey through the best ghost towns in Arizona. Goldfield Ghost Town and Mine Established in the 1890s, Goldfield Ghost Town and Mine is located about 10 miles east of Scottsdale. Unlike most ghost towns, Goldfield was abandoned in 1926 and has since been restored to preserve its Wild West spirit. The town offers a unique blend of history and adventure. Visitors can enjoy horse riding, explore museums filled with artifacts from the past, shop in quaint gift shops, sip a drink at a historic saloon, or even go on a thrilling zip line. The town also offers tours of the old gold mines, where visitors can learn about the mining process and even try their luck at gold panning. The town's preservation efforts have ensured that the spirit of the Wild West is kept alive. Tombstone Tombstone, one of the most famous ghost towns in Arizona, was founded in 1877. Once a thriving mining town, it was almost entirely abandoned in 1892 when the mines dried up. But the town's spirit refused to die. Today, Tombstone is the largest Wild West town still in existence, having been restored and turned into a tourist attraction. Visitors can explore legendary sites like the OK Corral, where the infamous gunfight took place. They can also visit historic saloons, cemeteries, theaters, parks, churches, and buildings that have been preserved from the town's heyday. The town also offers museums and art galleries filled with artifacts and artworks from the Wild West era, a historic gold mine tour, and even a Wild West-themed amusement park. Vulture City Ghost Town Vulture City, located northwest of Phoenix, was established in 1863 on the Old Vulture Mine, the largest gold mine ever discovered in Arizona. The city thrived until 1942, when the mine dried up and was abandoned. Over time, many of the town's buildings fell into disrepair, but efforts were made to restore and preserve them for future generations. Visitors can still see the stone and adobe structures that originally served as brothels, gas stations, homes, hotels, and more. These structures serve as evidence of the town's bustling past. For a more immersive experience, you can take a two-hour guided walking tour of the mine, learning about the mining process and the town's history. Jerome Jerome, once known as the Billion Dollar Copper Camp, was one of the largest copper mines in the West during its heyday. It once flourished with a population of approximately 15,000, earning it a reputation as one of the wealthiest cities in the United States. It holds the distinction of being America's largest ghost town, with a modest population of just 450 residents. What distinguishes Jerome from other ghost towns is its unique status as a living ghost town. Numerous buildings have been rejuvenated and now operate successful businesses, while several structures have been deliberately left in their original dilapidated state. Visitors can enjoy a drink at the Spirit Room Bar, sample homemade fudge at OJ's Copper Country Fudge, see the Sliding Jail, and visit Jerome State Historic Park. For a hearty meal, the Haunted Hamburger offers a unique dining experience. And for those interested in delving deeper into the history of Jerome, walking history tours or ghost shuttle tours are available. Chloride Founded in 1862, when silver ore was discovered in the surrounding mountains, Chloride was a bustling mining town at its peak. It had over 75 mines, including silver, gold, lead, zinc, and turquoise mines. Today, Chloride has a population of less than 400, but the citizens have taken pride in preserving the history of this old mining town. Visitors can see the original local jail from 1860, the oldest continually run post office in Arizona, and the oldest continually run church in Arizona. Cyanide Springs, a replica of a miniature ghost town, is a fun little stop. It's complete with an old saloon and other building fronts. Visitors can also stop at the general store to pick up some local treats and admire the miniature scale model of the town. Tip Top Located about 50 miles north of Phoenix, Tip Top was once a bustling mining town that was one of the three most active in the state. 
The town was founded in 1875 by prospectors Jack Moore and Bill Corning, who were drawn to the area by the rich silver deposits. The town quickly grew, reaching a population of about 1,200 at its peak. The residents were earning up to a thousand ounces of silver per ton of ore, a testament to the richness of the mines. The town was well equipped with six saloons, three stores, four restaurants, a school, and even the first brewery in Arizona. But by 1895, the town began to decline and was eventually abandoned. Presently, the remnants of Tip Top extend almost two miles alongside Cottonwood Creek. You can explore dozens of buildings in various states of ruin, an old head frame, and several tunnels, all serving as a quiet homage to the town's formerly lively history. Bisbee Bisbee began as a small mining camp in 1877, but quickly grew until it became known as the Queen of the Copper Camps. At the height of production, Bisbee was responsible for producing almost a quarter of the world's copper. It was home to over 20,000 residents and the largest town in the Southwest. Currently, guests have the opportunity to explore the Copper Queen mine and marvel at the 1,000-foot deep lavender pit. The mining historical museum is also worth a stop. You'll also want to stroll along Main Street, where you'll feel as if everything is frozen in time. A guided e-bike tour is a great way to explore the history of the town. You can even spend the night at the historic and supposedly haunted Copper Queen Hotel. Over the years, Bisbee has become a mecca for artists and free spirits. You'll find colorful murals around the city and even an outdoor art museum hidden in an alleyway. Kentucky Camp this camp is one of the many ghost towns in the state with a unique history. The town was founded in 1874 after gold was discovered nearby. The population surged to more than 500 miners, many of whom were migrants from the east. These migrants named the gulches in the area after their respective homes, giving Kentucky Camp its name. But by the 1880s, most of the gold deposits had been exhausted and the population dwindled. Today, Kentucky Camp is a popular destination for outdoor enthusiasts. It offers a quiet trail with wide open space, making it a favorite among among mountain bikers and runners. What sets Kentucky Camp apart is the opportunity to stay overnight. You can camp on the site with the right permits or rent one of two cabins for 75 bucks a night as part of the USFS program, Rooms with a View. Swansea Swansea, located 30 miles east of Parker, near the Arizona-California border, is a well-preserved ghost town that offers a glimpse into Arizona's mining history. The town was named after the Welsh hometown of its founder, George Mitchell. Mining operations there began in the mid-1880s, and by 1909, the town had a post office and a population of 750. The town had saloons, restaurants, a car dealership, a theater, and an electric light company. However, over-promotion led to the town's quick demise, and it was eventually abandoned. Swansea is now under preservation by the Bureau of Land Management. However, dozens of buildings and structures remain, offering a unique opportunity for exploration. Despite its past struggles, Swansea continues to be one of the best ghost towns in the state, offering a unique glimpse into Arizona's mining history. Now it's time to hear from you. Have you ever been to a ghost town in Arizona? Do any of these sound like fun to you? Let us know in the comments section below.